Praise the Lord. Ah, mama, you came back from America. Everybody's. <laughs> I thought it was for two weeks. Though. Praise the Lord. I will magnify the Lord. Where are the Levites? We'll magnify the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? I will magnify the Lord. Who is worthy to be praised? So shall I be saved from my enemy. Oh yes, blessed, blessed be the Lord. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigneth. Blessed be the Lord. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Hosanna. Salvation be exalted. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the Lord. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Let's magnify the Lord this morning. The scripture says, Come, let's magnify the Lord together. Let's give him glory because our God is worthy. He has kept us for six months of the year 2023. He has delivered our souls. He has satisfied our mouths with good things. The Lord has delivered us in the time of trouble. We have called upon him and he has answered us. We have every reason to magnify him. Give him glory today. Give him glory this morning. Father, thank you. Do not forget his benefits is what the psalmist said. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Don't forget the benefits of the Lord in the past six months. He forgives all our iniquities. He redeemed our lives from destruction. And he crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercies. He satisfies our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like that of the eagles. The Lord is merciful and gracious. He's slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Are you there blessing the name of the Lord? Hosanna. Blessed be the Lord. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Hey, Hosanna. Almighty God. Blessed be your name. Let the rock of my salvation be exalted. Our Heavenly Father, we honor you and we magnify you this morning. Who is God like you? Who is he that can deliver after your kind? Lord, we just magnify your name. This morning, we stand in appreciation of your goodness. We stand this morning to magnify you. We stand this morning to exalt you and to lift up your name because you are great and greatly to be praised. In our lives, Father God Almighty, we have seen your mighty hand. In our lives, oh God, we have experienced your goodness. Father Lord, each and every day of the past six months, it has been by your mercies, oh God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. We bless you this day, O oh God. We bless you, our rock and our fortress. We bless you, our deliverer. We bless you, the savior of our souls. We honor you, Father God Almighty, for how good you have been. 
Lord, it has not all been roses and spice and everything nice. But Lord, it, through your mercy, through your goodness, through your loving kindness, uh, you have brought us this far. Father God, thank you for the battles we have fought and won. Thank you because we are standing here today. It is a sign that you have given us the victory. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the deliverances, oh God, we have seen. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for your provisions. Thank you, Father God Almighty, for forgiving our iniquities. Thank you, Father, for delivering our souls from the hand of the evil one. Lord, we magnify you. We give unto you the praise. We give unto you all the glory and the honor. Father, receive our thanks this morning in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Father, receive our thanks this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. For those of us who are here this morning, Father God, we lift up our Ebenezer to you. And we declare that this far you have helped us. This far you have brought us. This far, Father God Almighty, you have been kind and good to us. Lord, receive all our thanks. Receive all our praise. Receive all the honor and the adoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, on this first day, of the month of July, the seventh month of the year, Lord, we come to give you thanks. We come to say that you are good and your mercies endure forever. We come to acknowledge your faithfulness towards us. Even when we are so unfaithful, Lord, yet you remain faithful. Father, we thank you. We thank you because you do not mark iniquity, O oh God. Because if you were to mark iniquity, who would be able to stand? Thank you, Father, for the mercy, your mercy that compels you every day, Father God, to be good to us. Your mercy that compels us every day, Father God, to be kind to us. We appreciate you, Lord. We do not take you for granted. In any way, we do not take you for granted. Thank you for joining mercies, oh God. Thank you for keeping our going out and our coming in. Thank you for delivering us, oh Lord. Ah, Father, we thank you. We bless you. We magnify your name. Thank you because we are amongst the living today. And the Bible says, the living shall give you praise. Oh, thank you, our King and our God. Thank you for food to eat. Thank you for the clothes upon our bodies. Thank you for the air we breathe. Oh, we are so grateful. Thank you, Father God, because when we eat, when we eat, it does not go the wrong way in our body. It does not go the wrong way in our bodies. And it, it, it does what food is supposed to do. Father, we are so grateful. We are so thankful. Thank you for waking us each up each and every morning. Sometimes we think it's our alarm that wakes us up. No. It is you, oh God, that wakes, up, uh, wakes us up every day. Take an alarm to the graveyard and see if to wake anybody up. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We're in awe of your goodness. We are in awe of your mercies. We're in awe of your love towards us, oh God. Thank you for your everlasting love. This morning we bow before you and we appreciate you. From the bottom of our hearts we give unto you all the glory. From the bottom of our hearts we give unto you all the praise. From the bottom of our hearts we say thank you our Father. Receive our thanks faithful Father. Receive our praise this morning oh God. In the name of Jesus. And so King of glory we come before your presence once again. And we pray Lord Almighty as we gather Lord that you will manifest yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. In this assembly this morning, O oh God, let there be salvation in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, move over each and every heart and every soul this morning. Meet with us at the points of our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. King of glory, you are the burden bearer, the one who lifts burdens. Your word says, come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Father, for every man, woman, boy, girl that will enter into this assembly, let burdens be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. Give every soul that desires rest. Give unto them rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone who is anxious, everyone who is agitated, Lord, this morning we ask that your spirit will touch them and will give them rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, this morning, oh God, we ask that you will speak a word in season to every soul. Every soul here, a word in season in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father God, as today is Thanksgiving, 
We ask, oh God, for the garment of praise upon everyone. The garment of praise upon everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ, we receive the oil of joy in the place of mourning. In the name of Jesus. And we receive beauty for ashes. Father God, this morning we ask you to fill our hearts with, us, with praise. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our hearts with thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus. Cause our praise to be acceptable unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. We ask that Lord you will send forth your word. And there shall be light in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you and we bless you. We ask, Father God, that you will order steps into this assembly. Father God, this banquet shall be filled because you will bring in people from the highways and the byways and all places to meet with you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we honor you and we exalt you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor and the adoration. Be magnified. Be magnified, King of Kings. In Jesus' most excellent name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a song that says, With my hands lifted up, and my mouth filled with praise, and a song of thanksgiving. Do we have a song of thanksgiving this morning? to our maker, to our king, to our father, to the awesome God, to the royal God, to the excellent God. Father Lord, we've come this morning with a heart of thanksgiving, oh God. Just as our mommy in the Lord has said, take a, take a, if you take an alarm to the graveyard and tell me if anybody's going to wake up. But the Lord that has kept you and I from January even up to this moment. Let's just glorify his holy name. Hallelujah. Oh, with my hands lifted up. And my mouth filled with praise. With a heart of thanksgiving. I've come to bless you, oh God. I've come to bless you, oh God. Hey. Can we all sing together? Yeah. With my hands lifted up And my mouth filled with praise With a heart of thanksgiving I will bless you, O oh Lord With my hands lifted up One more time with my hands lifted up, with my hands lifted up, hey, and my mouth filled with praise, oh, with a heart of thanksgiving, oh, I will bless thee, oh, I will bless you, oh, Lord.
my praise. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the King of Kings, the Lion and the Lamb. Hey. He's coming on the clouds. King and kingdoms will bow down. Hey. And every chain will break as broken hearts declare his praise. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Oh Our God. Our God is the lion, the lion of Judah. He's fighting and fighting our battles. Every knee will bow be Our God is the Lamb. Our God is the Lamb. The Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chains. Every knee will bow before the Lion and the Lamb. Every knee will bow. Put your hands together. Can we do verse 1 again? Come on now. Sing. He's coming on the clouds. King and kingdoms will bow down. Every chain will break. And every chain will break. As broken hearts declare him. Who can stop? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Oh Our God. Our God is the lion, the lion of truth. He's roaring, he's roaring with power and fighting our battles. Hey, every knee will bow be. Our God is the lamb. Our God is the lamb, the lamb that was for the sins of the world. Hey, his blood breaks the chains. Every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb. Hey, our God is the light. Our God is the lion, the lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battle. Every knee, every knee will bow. Our God is the lamb. Our God is the lamb, the lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chain. Every knee will bow before the lion and the lamb. Every knee will bow before. Now we're going to declare who can stop the Lord Almighty. Can anybody stop our God? Is anything bigger than our God? Are we ready? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Tell me who. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord? The Lord is strong in battle. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? He's a man of war. Who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Tell me who? Who can stop the Lord? Hey, tell me who? Who can stop the Lord? Oh my! Who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord? Our God is a lion, the lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. Every knee will bow be. Our God is a lamb. Our God is a lamb, the lamb that was slain. For the sins of the world, his blood breaks the chain. Who we'll declare again? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Every knee will bow before him. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Tell me who? Who can stop the Lord? Not anybody in heaven and on the earth. No powers, no principles. Can stop our God. Hey, if the Lord 
is for you, who can be against you? Oh, tell me who. Oh, tell me who. Who can stop the Lord? One more time. Hey, who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord? Our God is a lion, the lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting the battles. Every day we bow before. Our God is the Lamb. Our God is the Lamb. The Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chain. Every day we bow before the Lion and the Lamb. Every day we bow. God is a lion, the lion of Judah. He's roaring with power and fighting our battles. Every day we bow before our God is the Lamb. God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of those world. His blood breaks the chains. Every day we bow before the lion and the Lamb. Every day. Every knee we bow before you. Every knee we bow. Every knee we bow before the lion and the lamb. Every knee we bow be. One more time. Every knee we bow. Every knee we bow before the lion and the lamb. Every knee we bow before. Who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord? 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 Our God is a lion, the lion that was Hallelujah. Let's wave our hands to the Lamb. Let's wave our hands to the Lion of Judah. Let's wave our hands to the Almighty God. Nothing can stop him. Nothing can stop his move in our lives. But rather he stops sins. He has stopped death. He has stopped accidents. He has stopped sicknesses. He has stopped poverty. He has, he has given us life. Nothing can stop the lion and the lamb. Nothing can stop him. He has roared over our lives. He has roared over our lives and kept us safe. He has kept us secure. Jehovah, we praise your name. Almighty God, we adore you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being the lion that is roaring over our lives. Thank you, Lord, for being the lamb whose blood has been shed and we have received forgiveness of sins. Jehovah, we are grateful. Thank you, Lord, for how you have sustained us. In the last six months of this year, Jehovah, you have sustained us, you have kept us. You have made us to dwell in security. You have made us to dwell in safety. Jehovah, we are grateful. Blessed be your holy name forevermore. Father, today we have come to say thank you. We have come to appreciate your goodness. We have come to appreciate your mercy. We have come to appreciate your kindness. We have come to appreciate your love. We have come to appreciate your care. Jehovah, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name forevermore. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We are grateful indeed. From the depths of our hearts, Jehovah, this morning, we express our gratitude unto you. This is the seventh month of the year 2023. Jehovah is a month of perfection. 
is a month, O oh God, where you will bring to pass, O oh God, those things we have been yearning unto you for. Jehovah, we are grateful for life. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for being with us in our going out and our coming in. Thank you, Lord, for abiding with us. Thank you, Jehovah, for your protection. Thank you, Lord, for being the lion of the tribe of Judah over our lives, roaring over our situations and our circumstances. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because you are the God that can never be stopped. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's be seated in his wonderful presence. Brethren, you are welcome to church. Levi's God bless you. That was a wonderful session. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, you are welcome to church. If you are joining us online, you are also welcome. Um, the Almighty God that has brought us here this morning is set to bless us. Let's, you know, let, let's have open minds. Let's be expectant. Hallelujah. Amen. If today is your first time of fellowshipping with us, you know, in King's Court, Brampton, please signify by raising up your hands. Everybody say they are on their way. They are on their way. Because this is a long weekend too. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I know being the first Sunday of the month is a special day for us. It's a special day of thanksgiving. Amen. It's a time when we look back into the year. We, we, you know, we can't but just thank God for his mercies, for his kindness, for his protection over our lives. So I want to use this opportunity to call upon people who have testimonies to share of the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you have testimonies to share, please signify by raising up your hands. Then you stand up and majestically march to the front here. I will give you the microphone to give glory to God and to encourage the rest of us. Amen. Is there any such in the house? I know we are all beneficiaries of the mercies of God. Like, uh, you know, Mama stated this morning. You know, I've always heard it, but it was special this morning. That if you, take, if you think it's the alarm that woke you up this morning, let's take the alarm to the graveyard and see how many, you know, the alarm will wake up. Hallelujah. It's the Lord that has woken us up on a day-by-day -day basis. The psalmist says, I lay down and I slept and I woke, but the Lord sustained me. Hallelujah. The Lord has sustained us on a daily basis. To him alone be all the glory, all the honor and adoration in the name of Jesus. Amen. I personally have a testimony. In the last weekend, you'll notice that I wasn't in church. I traveled with my two sons to Baltimore because we have an uncle there who has always been, you know, for us. He has always come for, you know, activities here. And, you know, he's been very supportive. And we just thought it was an opportunity to also visit him. And then it's a season of people celebrating 60th birthday. You know, people <laughs> of my mates, you know, my schoolmates, they are all celebrating 60th birthday, and one of them also was celebrating her 60th birthday in Baltimore. So we decided to drive there. So my, myself and my two sons, we traveled. And then as soon as we crossed the border into the U.S., our tire picked a sharp object, and it just split the tire, you know. So we, just, we had to park. And I asked my son who was driving, did you see it? He said he didn't see it, but I saw it. My other son saw it, but he didn't see it. You know, the devil is a liar. You know, so we couldn't go anywhere. We were on the highway. You know how vehicles speed through that, those roads. It's the highway. And then we stood there waiting, calling CAA, you know, AAA, you know, for help. And then we were there standing, sitting, standing for three hours. There was nobody. Somebody, one of them that was called, later called to say he would not come. So they had to call another person. So for three hours we were there, and you know, eventually somebody came, and the tire was changed. You know, we, we, we decided to use the spare tire. You know, with the spare tire, you cannot travel far. So we, we were told to go to an enterprise office where we could change our car. And then we looked around, we got to one, 
They said they didn't have enough inventory. We went to another one. They said all their inventories were booked, you know, so that um, the alternative would be for us to go and buy a new tire, you know. So, we, you know, for all of that, all going back and forth, we spent another three hours in, in, in Buffalo, you know. You know, it, the devil is a liar. He is a liar from the pit of hell. Eventually, we were able to go, you know. We changed it. We bought a new tire. We went to Baltimore safely. You know, we did all we needed to do. And here I am standing before you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our God is a good God. You know, he has protected us. You know, this is, these are some of the things that we see. But there are unfought, un unseen battles that he has fought on our behalf. To him alone be the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I have encouraged us to talk about what the Lord has done. Have you suddenly now remembered <laughs> something to share? Uh, all right, Sister Shoni Barre. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your story reminded me. First week of June, while I and my family went to Detroit for a close family son's wedding. As we are going, there were so many traffic on 401. I don't know how. The Google just took us to one village. Yeah, it took us. We, and we are going to Windsor because of, um, to get to the border. And we find ourselves in a lonely road. And as we are trying to go back to 401, we got to a stop um, sign. And we just saw one vehicle. A van, wife, call me with. If you see that speed, it was like they are here. Go and hit them. It was the, the speed was so much. My son Toby was the one driving. He couldn't move. He's too still. And all of us were looking at the van. And at, it was about to hit us. Something just tried because we were shocked. We couldn't move. And Toby just moved. He needed. If you, I, I don't know. Tell me why my son is there. I don't know how to, to explain it. It, it, could, it could be only God. God saved us. And all of us were in the car. Yeah, all of us, myself, uh, except um, Pro Sister's husband. Um, the three of my children, myself, my husband, were in the vehicle. So I give God the glory. I, I really praise Him for saving our life. Praise the Lord. The Lord, the Lord has preserved us. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, let's just wave our hands to the Almighty God. Let's appreciate Him for His goodness, His protection, His preservation of our lives. Let's just praise His holy name. Only the living can praise the Lord. The dead cannot remember the Lord. The grave cannot remember the Lord. He has, he has spared us for a purpose. He has spared us for his praises. Father, we are grateful. Blessed be your holy name, O God. On a day-by-day -day basis, O God, you have kept us, Jehovah. The Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord, for abiding with us in our going out and our coming in. Thank you, Lord, for the blood of Jesus that has continued to avail for us. Jehovah, we are grateful. Blessed be your holy name, O God. For the two testimonies that we have, O God, received this morning, we are grateful. We soak our lives in the blood of Jesus. No one of us, O God Almighty, will be lost to accidents. In the name of Jesus, our lives will not be cut short. In the name of Jesus, we will fulfill our days on earth. In the name of Jesus, I decree that it is well with us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We're also in a new month and there are birthday celebrants. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you know your birthday is in the month of July, please come forward. Come forward. Let's celebrate together because this month is also my birthday. Hallelujah. We are special people. Seven is this, the, 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 the number of perfection. Hallelujah. 
We were made specially. Hallelujah. Don't you see us now? See how we are looking? Amen. <laughs> oh, you see now? You know, we're looking, you know, we are looking great. Are you see now? Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Oh, wow. Look at you. See how we are looking. Hallelujah. We want the church to pray for us, and we also want mommy to round up the prayers for us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's sing for them now. Let's sing for them. Levites, eh? <laughs> Happy birthday. We are saying we love you. God be with you till the end of time. And may he say, well done. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. We are saying, we love you. God, God, we with you till the end of time. And may he say, well done. May he say, well done. Oh, may he May Jesus say, well done. May he say, well done. Please, let's stretch forth our hands to them. And let's bless them. Let's give them a birthday blessing. Let's pray that the hand of the Lord will rest upon them. And that with long life, the Lord will satisfy them. He will show them his salvation continually. The glory of the Almighty will be upon them. They will go from one level of glory to another. Grace will be multiplied unto them. Whatsoever their hands find to do will prosper. The spirit of the Lord will dwell on the inside of them. They shall be for signs and for wonders in the name of Jesus. And in this seventh month, which is the, year, the month of your birth, the Lord will bring fulfillment to his word over your lives. Every work, every good work that he has started, he will bring completion to it in the name of Jesus. Eternal Father, in this new year of life, we want to thank you for these, your children. Thank you, Father, for your grace and mercy upon them. Thank you for your goodness and your preservation, your protection, your eyes of mercy upon them. Lord, we join our voices with theirs and we say thank you, Father. It's only by your mercy. Receive our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. King of glory, today we commit them into your faithful hands once again. That in this new year of life, you will reveal yourself to them in a new way. Father God Almighty, you will show them new dimensions of your favor. New dimensions of your kindness. New dimensions of your goodness. New dimensions of your mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, you will keep their going out and their coming in. You will release your angels to encamp around and about them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are asking that you will encompass them with favor as with a shield. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, God Almighty, we ask that you will make their feet like hinds feet. And they will begin to mount up onto their high places. In the name of Jesus. In this new year of life, we ask, oh God, that if there be any desire, if there be anything in their hearts, oh God, they are looking to you for, that Father God, you will make haste to answer them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we ask, oh Lord, that as these ones grow in age, you will cause them to grow in wisdom, you will cause them to grow in understanding, you will cause them to grow in favor before you and before human beings. In the name of Jesus, we ask Heavenly Father God that you will give them a new understanding of you. They will know you and the power of your resurrection. They will do the things that will honor you and please you. That they will have a testimony like Enoch that they please God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. We are asking, Lord, for a birthday gift for these ones, such as you alone can give. Give them in this month of July, which is beyond gold or silver or cakes or whatever. Give them a beautiful, give them beautiful gifts in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. We give you praise and glory. We give you honor and adoration in Jesus' most excellent name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Happy birthday, brethren. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 
Now we'll listen to the announcements from the technical unit. Okay, there's a glitch. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. By the grace of God, we completed the 30 by 30 days of praying in June for our children. Hallelujah. Testimonies are going to come. The Almighty God has started to answer our prayers already. To Him alone be all the glory, honor, and adoration. Our labor of love over our children will not be wasted, will not be in vain. In the name of Jesus, our children will bring us joy. Our children will bring the church joy. Our children will bring the almighty God joy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And as we know today, is Thanksgiving being the first Sunday of the, of the month. And also, I want to encourage us to be part of the Bible study every Wednesday by 7 p.m. It's online by Zoom. You can join from anywhere. You can join while on the road. You, are, you can join even while in the office. You, are, you can join while at home. I do not have all of the announcements now, but I think that praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's a time of praying. We just finished 30 by 30. And we are starting the RCCG 10 days of fasting. It started yesterday. Hallelujah. I haven't been following up. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's never too much. It's never too much. And as a matter of fact, it helps our health. Amen. So 10 days of fasting and praying. It started yesterday. Let's be part of it. And as we pray, the Almighty God will answer us and we will testify in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, why are you here this morning? Why are you here this morning? I need you to fix your mind on Christ and be very expectant. The Almighty God that has brought us here will meet us all at our points of needs. In the name of Jesus, we will all live here rejoicing. In the name of Jesus. Praise you, the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we all rise to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega? Thank you. He is worthy of everything. King of glory, ancient of days. We have come to extol you. We've come to exalt your holy name. Father, we lift you up on high as we join in with the host of heavens to say, you are worthy, O oh God. Father, Lord, you are worthy, O oh God. Just begin to say something to him. You don't have to wait for the music. Just glorify his holy name. Any opportunity you get, just say one beautiful thing to him. Just say, Father, Lord, I love you. Father, thank you, O oh God, for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your goodness. Father, Lord, we worship you, O oh God. We join with the elders and the angels to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Oh Oh, you are worthy, 
Lord, you are worthy of it all. You are worthy, you are worthy of it all. Verse 1 together. Let's join with heaven. All the saints and angels, they bow before your throne. All the elders cast their crowns before the Lamb of God. And sing, you are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. Hey. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve. You deserve the glory. Yeah, well. 
heaven bow down we bow down and worship and Yahweh oh Yahweh 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 oh to the most high God Yahweh, 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 oh Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Lift up your worship, lift up your worship. Well, just say something good to the Lord right now and just bless the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord, you are Yahweh, your God. Thank you, Lord, for your intervention in our lives. Thank you for strength and grace. Thank you for power and anointing. We'll bless your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Just say one, take one quick prayer point. Because it's Thanksgiving, keep, keep, keep the cuts going, huh? Because it's Thanksgiving, uh, I, wanna, I want to take just one prayer point, and it's a prayer of Thanksgiving. To thank the Almighty God uh, for bringing us through the first half of this year, and also to thank Him in advance uh, for taking us through the second half of this year. That greater things uh, that He has done in the first half, He will do in the second half. Uh, that God will show forth in your life. Uh, God will surprise you. He will have his way in the name of Jesus. Go ahead with this prayer of thanksgiving. Uh. Just say, Father, thank you, Lord, for January to June. Uh. Lord God Almighty, for everything, every day, every moment. Uh. Thank you for the ups and the downs. Uh. Thank you for journey mercies. Thank you for going and coming. Thank you, oh God, Lord, because you have put a song of praise in my mouth. Uh. I'm so grateful. Thank you now for the second half of this year. You that has done the first, uh, you will do the second. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Um, thank you, mighty Father. We give you praise. Uh, we honor you forever and ever. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, um, that's okay. Um, all of you, please. Drop your instruments. I want you to come forward, come forward here. And I want you as a church to please just stretch forth your hands on, um, on, this, on the Levites. You know, um, they, they are holding forth. They keep going strong. Everybody, come, just leave your instruments. Come forth. Come on. Everybody, come, 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 come close here. Hallelujah. Actually, come here. Come here. Come here. Every one of them, 
they're going through different challenges, different um, difficult moments. But on a Sunday, Sunday basis, they show up. They come in. They lead us in worship. They try. You know, if you don't ask them anything, you won't even know. Hallelujah. Now, this is not to say that some of us out there don't have our challenges. But you are not leading us in worship. And then it's an extra burden. It's a weight. They carry the prayer. They meet. Amen. Let's just stretch for our hands uh, that God will continue to strengthen this ones. That in every area and challenge that they're going through, the Almighty, the hand of the Almighty God will rest upon them. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, this second half of this year, God will do miracles, Lord, that they themselves never dreamed were possible. In the name of Jesus Christ, the light of God will shine upon them. Father, as they have been leading us, even in worship, and they, are, they, 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 they do it with joy, Lord, that not minding what they are going through but they just know that they are here you know to to to, to stand uh, in the presence of god uh, to usher us into into the presence uh, father god uh, i'm asking oh lord uh, they will not lose their reward uh, but father oh god send forth your angels oh god uh, to shine around them give them strength uh, give them encouragement uh, in the name of our lord jesus uh, my god and my father i'm asking lord you will help them to see the significance of what they are doing. It's not we're not just here to sing but no, it's an act of worship. You're an act, it's an act of service and it's a very high level service in the name of our Lord Jesus. Thank you Heavenly Father. We give you all the praise. Lord, by reason of today's prayers, Lord, I'm asking, Lord, let there be testimonies in their lives. Uh, everyone that is at the point uh, of pressure, of giving up on just throwing in the towel, Lord God Almighty, I uh, push back the hand of the enemy in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, come through for this one, oh God. Show up for them in a big way. Thank you, eternal Savior, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Uh, and everybody say a very loud uh, Praise the Lord. Uh, let's put our hands together for the Lord. You can go to your seat. Uh, now before you sit down, look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, you're about to be blessed. Uh, and your life will never remain the same again. In Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Uh, now you may be seated majestically. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good. And all the time, uh, our God is good. So it's Thanksgiving and... Um, I'm just going to kind of just say a few words that will, you know, encourage us um, before we get into the Thanksgiving. Praise God. And I've titled my message, The Miracle of the Second. Hallelujah. The Miracle of the Second. And this is just a message that God dropped in my heart as I was reading a particular part of scripture. Praise God. And I'll go into it in a second. But before I go into that scripture, I want to ask a question. Um, how many of us uh, remember or have um, in our minds the very first miracle that Jesus did after he started his ministry? How many of you remember the first miracle he did? Amen. Yes. He turned water into wine. Praise God. And most of us do remember because, you know, you go into John chapter 2 and you say, you know, the wedding in Cana. Now, my question is, how many of you remember the second miracle that Jesus did? Eh? He did more than one second. <laughs> Amen. And that's exactly the reason why I'm sharing this message. Because I saw in scripture, hidden somewhere, that, and this was the second miracle of Jesus. And I discovered that, you know what, for some strange reason, this thing is hidden. But for the fact that it's hidden, there's something attached to it. There's something we need to find out, something we need to know. Amen. And God will help us as we go through it today in Jesus' name. So if you have your Bibles, let's open to John chapter number 4. John chapter number 4. 
And I'm going to read um, from verse 46. John chapter number 4, verse 46. Um, whatever translation you have, I want you to read along with me. I'm going to read fast. And I'm just going to point out a few things that God was showing me as I was reading it. Amen. Are you here? And are you in John 4 now? Yes. Praise the Lord. So I'll read, but just follow along. So he came again to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. The first miracle, right? And at Capernaum, there was an official. This was a servant of Herod. You know, a, a royal servant, a, an, an official whose son was ill. Now, when this man heard that Jesus had come from Judea to Galilee. So, Judea is a province. Like you have Saskatchewan or all this other prov province, you know, uh, Abata. He now came uh, to Ontario. Praise God. He says he heard that he was now in his own province. So he went to him and asked him to come and heal his son. For he was at the point of death. Hallelujah. Verse 48. So Jesus said to him, unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. Praise God. Let me just stop there for a second. And Jesus was looking at this man. And it was... He, you know, Jesus wanted him, uh, uh, the official wanted Jesus to come and heal his son in his house. And Jesus was looking at him. Can you, you know, listen, I, there are, there's something I can do for you, but I don't see you as someone who can receive it unless you see it. Are you following me? So Jesus kind of slightly rebuked him. You are one of those people that unless you see, you don't believe. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And how often are we also close to that until we see before we believe? So just now, this official is a Jew. That's why he came to Jesus. He knew the scriptures. He, he understood that Christ was the Messiah, but he was working for the official uh, Roman um, uh, 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 government. Praise God. So Jesus said, I know you. Amen. <laughs> and, but what did the man say? Then the official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. And he seemingly confirmed what Jesus was saying. Jesus was trying to tell him, I, there's, there's a way I can solve this problem. But are you sure you can handle it? And the man is saying, just calm down. <laughs> Amen. This child is about to die. First and foremost, he's speaking with the resurrection and the life. But he had no idea. That even if the child dies, Christ can still wake him up. He said, but I need you to come before he dies. Jesus was probably shaking his head. Oh, you don't understand. Never mind. Amen. Sir, please just come down. Then Jesus said to him, go your way. Go. Your son will live. And the man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and went on his way. Amen. And he was, as he was going, his servants met him and told him that his son was recovering. His son was already recovering by the time he came. So he, 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 so he asked them uh, the hour when he began to get better. And they said to him, yesterday at the seventh hour, the fever left him. The seventh hour is 1 p.m., right? Um, at the seventh hour, the fever left him. The father knew that was the hour when Jesus has said to him, your son will live. And he himself believed. Now, let me just say this quickly. In verse 48, the, uh, sorry, in verse 50, the, the Bible says, Jesus said to him, go, your, go, go, your son will live. The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him and went on his way. Now, he heard that his son was alive. And the Bible says he himself believed. He believed again. <laughs> he believed upon his belief. Praise God. And this time with the rest of his household. Praise God. And this is where I'm going, verse 54. 
He says, and this now, this was now the second sign, the second miracle that Jesus did when he had come from Judea to Galilee. This was the second. This is how I knew it was the second miracle that Jesus did. Amen. At least in Cana. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I've titled this the second miracle. The, mir the, the, the miracle of the second. Praise God. There are two things that I want to pick out of this so that it will encourage us. Number one, um, just on a general basis, when I give you something and I say, yeah, just have this as a gift, you know, um, come back for more if you need. Amen. Then, sometime you have another need and you come back and I give you the thing again. What have I done? I've confirmed. I've used the second to confirm the first. Amen. When, when you get something the first time, you're still unsure. You're still kind of like, okay, could this be a miracle? Could this be a, um, uh, you know, a, a happenstance or what they call it? A, um, what's the other word? Like, say fluke. But when it happens a second time, you know, no, no, this is not a fluke. This is something that God is doing. Amen. Praise the Lord. So the second time is always, they call it sometimes, they say the second time is a charm. You know, I, um, uh, Psalm 62 says that once have you spoken, twice have I heard that all power belongs to God. It takes a second hearing for you to get the confirmation. Amen. The miracle of the second. Bob talks about where two or three gather, where two shall agree as to touching a matter. There's a miracle that comes when there is a second. Are you still with me this morning? The miracle of the second. Now, going to this particular um, um, miracle of Jesus. Amen. Jesus said to him, go. Your son is healed, is well, is he's been healed. This man from Capernaum to Cana, 20 miles, was the difference. He heard that Jesus was in town. He walked for 20 miles to come and ask Jesus to walk 20 miles with him to his house. So that Jesus will walk another 20 miles to come back. Jesus said, spare me this. Amen. Go. Your son is healed. And verse 50, miraculously, the Bible says he got his first miracle there. Or his first belief. His faith. This is, we're talking about a progression of faith here. He's, he believed when Jesus said it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What am I saying? See, many of us are in this journey of faith where we, are seek, we come and we seek Jesus for help. And sometimes we come from far. Sometimes it's a far mind. Sometimes it's a long shot, but we come to Jesus. And this man came. He wasn't sure what he was going to get, but he just wanted Jesus to come. Amen. But Jesus didn't go. Jesus sent a word with him. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and he believed the word. Now, can you just put yourself in this man's position? To walk 20 miles will take at least two days. Amen. <laughs> like, let me estimate. Between here and Scarborough, it's probably 60, 70 kilometers. Maybe just, no, no, no. I'm talking of Oshawa, sorry. Ajax area. <laughs> you know, a good 60, 70 kilometers. So, yeah, okay. Maybe Pickering, Scarborough a little bit. So imagine going, walking from here <laughs> all the way to Pickering. The other side, 20 miles. Hallelujah. And then Jesus says, go. Your son that was at the point of death, and you needed him desperately. And he says, go home. 
Don't worry, your son is well. Amen. The Bible says he believed and he left. But there was something that was troubling him. Is this thing true? There's no cell phone to call home. Is, is that guy any changes? <laughs> Jesus said he's going to be okay. No cell phone, nothing. Amen. And he started walking back another almost two days journey to get back home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I believe he was just going in faith. Okay, Jesus said it. I don't know if there's any witness here. God has been saying to you, it is well with you. And you, are, you, you, you receive it, you believe it. And you are walking with it. But you are not sure. You are, you are looking, Jesus, are you sure? <laughs> Amen. I have news for you. There will be a confirmation. You receive the miracle of the second in the name of Jesus Christ. On his way home, they came to look for him. He had not gotten home. It was not yet another two days journey. It was probably like maybe one day. They met him. They, they were rushing. Come back, come back. They, it's happened. And they said his son has started the recovery. Amen. And he asked them when. It turned out to be exactly the same time Jesus said it is well. Amen. And this is where I'm going. He said, and he believed again. <laughs> Amen. That was when his faith became stronger. That's when he believed the word of God the first time. See, if only you and I can grow to the level that when we receive the word the first time, and we run with it without a shadow of doubt. Amen. Then we'll be in a better place. We'll be less troubled. Hallelujah. If Jesus said it, it will come to pass. Jesus is not man. He is God. We call him the son of God, but he was God in the flesh. As he said, he shall he not bring it to pass. So by two immutable things with which it is impossible for God to lie. So when Jesus says uh, that this chair is green, amen, if you take a good look at it, as soon as he said it's green, the chair turns green. It's not that he's telling a lie, but the thing changes to green because he has said it. Hallelujah. So if he says it is well with you, believe him because it shall be well with you. And the minute he says it and it's come out of his mouth, uh, there is the host of heaven that back up his word. Hallelujah. He said, when did it happen? They said the same hour that he said it. There was confirmation. Hallelujah. I've come here to encourage you. This man at first, I'm sure he was like, God, Jesus, God, Jesus. And you should have come home. I said, go, your son is well. Okay, he's going, <laughs> amen. When they told him the boy was well, what was the first question? When? <laughs> what time? What time? That was uppermost on his mind. Hallelujah. And the word was confirmed. The miracle of the second. The word was confirmed. Now, see what happened. The Bible says, this time when he believed, him and his household now believed. Amen. His faith grew from, I've only had Jesus when he came to Cana the first time I heard. Let me go and see. <laughs> Amen. That little faith he had brought him to Jesus. First level. Second level. Jesus, come and heal my son. The man said, go. Your son will be okay. And the Bible says, and he believed. Second level. And then he now found out that exactly what Jesus said at the time he said it, the thing happened. Then he's, he believed again. And his household. I can imagine him calling his children, guys, this Jesus is real. This Jesus is real. And this is the way some of us have carried and come with our journey. We come seeking him. 
Other people have said, oh, I, I just, ah, go and check him out. You know, he does great things. And we came looking too. And he did speak into our lives. We read the scripture and we absorbed the scripture. But there's still something unsure. When, where will it happen? Just looking around. When will somebody come and meet me and confirm? Amen. The miracle of the second and my message is that just believe. If Jesus said it, he meant it. And because he meant it, he will bring it to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't want to go too spiritual about this, but you know, I just, I was just thinking randomly about what number two really stands for. Amen. Number two stands for a confirmation of number one. There can only be number two if there has been a one. Amen. And because there is a number two, it gives you the hope that there is number three. Oh God, I don't know who I'm speaking with. Because after two, the Bible says he brought his family and suddenly there were many that came to Christ. So two gives you the hope. The hope that there is more. More coming. I said more coming. More coming. More coming. If you can get to the level of believing the second time, the miracle that God did in his life confirming the health and miracle and wellness of his son, believe me, more miracles are on the way. Amen. Meaning that every other thing that he has said will come to pass in your life. Amen. Just believe. So he believed the first time. He believed the second time. That's why I call that second time the miracle of the second. Amen. Because there's hope for the third. And there's hope for the fourth. And there's hope for more. Amen. The second is confirmation of the first. And I'm here to assure you that it's time to begin to celebrate. Amen. <laughs> Except you didn't hear what he said the first time. If you heard what he said the first time, if, you, if you've read what Christ or what God has given us through his word the first time, amen, and you believe it, and you begin to go with it, amen, amen, confirmation is on its way. Amen. Oh, I didn't hear your amen. amen. And lastly, let me close with this. He came the first time and then he said, I go to the Father and the angel said, when he left, this same Jesus that you see going like this, he's going to be back. In like manner. <laughs> Thank you. And the whole world will see him. And everyone that rejected him will have no choice but to bow before him. The miracle of the second. The miracle of the second is a confirmation of the first. And that this thing is going to continue. Amen. So, if you have believed that he came the first time, trust me, he's coming the second time. When he comes the second time, he's going to gather us with him. Because there's many now. <laughs> Amen. He said he was the firstborn of many. He came to recruit us, to prepare us for the kingdom in eternity. The miracle of the second. Amen. Um, let me just close with this, you know. Um, I think it's in Mark chapter 8. Bible talks about a blind man that Jesus healed. He took him out, spit on the ground, put some uh, spit on the mud and put it on his eyes. He said, go and rinse. And then when the man rinsed, he said, what do you see? He said, I see men as trees. In other words, he didn't see very clearly. And Jesus said, go wash again. Amen. 
And this time around, the second touch, the second time, the second confirmation, the miracle of the second, the t- this time around, the man says, I see clearly. I see with perfection. God is bringing you to a level of perfection with that second touch. If you are that person, stand to your feet. Hallelujah. The miracle of the second. Now, whether you're here or you're at home, you know, God is bringing you to a level of confirmation this morning. That what he has said, what he has been, what you have believed. You know, remember Daniel. Daniel started to fast and pray. And only on the 21st day, the angel broke through and came to him and said, son of man, right from the first day, your prayer had been answered. It was just the prince of Persia that delayed us. We were fighting through. But God already heard you. I'm here to tell you, God already heard you. That was the first touch. That was the first miracle. God was was already at work. God had already started speaking concerning you. God had already started leading you in the way to go. Amen. But like men, we always doubt. Where are we sure? We're looking back. Today, my challenge to you is don't look back. Amen. Look for the second touch. Look for the next confirmation. Keep looking ahead because it is coming. Amen. And when it comes, there's more coming still. And your life changes completely. Hallelujah. What do you do with this message? You're going to rejoice. You're going to thank God that everything you had the first time. Amen. Now I'm going to believe it. I'm going to act on it. Hallelujah. Has he said he will establish you in this land? Take it to the bank. Amen. It may have taken some time and you are wondering, God, did you really mean it? Amen. Is there any doubter in the house that the second touch is on his way? Amen. The, sec- the miracle of the second, it's on his way. Amen. I don't know if you are still here with me. Praise God. What do you, how do you think the man felt when finally they told him, The same hour that Jesus spoke, that that it had been done, he was elated. The Bible says he now believed again. It's like he became born again, again, (laughs) the second time. Amen. Hallelujah. God will give you confirmations. Wherever you are going, as you are going, God will give you confirmation. He will encourage you on the way. Let's turn this into a prayer and just say, Father, Lord, there's a miracle of the second touch. We talked about the man who was blind, but when he first saw, he only saw men as trees, limited. Lord, we're asking for perfect vision. We're asking for our faith to grow. This man, his faith had to grow. It had to grow until he got to a stage that his whole family could see and benefit from his faith. Lord God Almighty, I want your faith to grow as well. I want you to pray this morning and say, Lord Jesus, that my faith will grow that I will get that miracle of that second that miracle of the second the miracle of the second the miracle of the second torture the miracle of confirmation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I'm not satisfied Lord with you just saying to me go but Lord I want you to come along with the proofs and the help and the confirmation in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And this is why you are going to rejoice very hard today. In the first half of this year, he spoke. And now we have entered into the second half of the year. Confirmation. Oh, Lord. Thank you, my sister. She got that revelation. Amen. This second half of this year is the confirmation. The joy will be full. Your family will rejoice with you in the name of Jesus. That's why we are going to be... Levites, come up. It's your time. (laughs) 
Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. The miracle of the second. Amen. It's not an accident. It's not coincidence. It's God's deliberate strategy working on you. Confirming his word. Showing you his miracles. Showing you his salvation. That wherever you are, I will meet you there. Whatever is your concern over your children, I'm meeting. If I am taking care of it. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Your joy will be full. You came to Canada. You're wondering, how will I be established? What is my journey going to be like? He said, I got you covered. As you are my child, I got you covered. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, your faith has taken a beating. You are wondering, is God up there? God, do you still hear prayer? Do you still answer? He said, I heard you the first time. I said to you to pursue, to recover all. I mean it. Keep going. Don't look back. Keep going. In the name of Jesus. It's Jesus. The second half, there will be confirmation. In the name of Jesus, my God will come through for you. I said, my God will come through for you. In the name of Jesus. Maketele pronos katosia. Lakataka likeles. Mali pronos katolia. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The miracle of the second. Thank you, eternal Savior. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We're just going to operate in the prophetic for a second. And just see yourself at the end of the second half of this year. And put yourself in the shoes of this man. Who said, Jesus, sir, this boy is at the point of death. My joy is at the point of death. My future is at the point of death. Things look bleak. Bleaker than I've ever seen it before. When he came to Jesus, Jesus said, go. Go on the second half of this journey. And as he was going, they came to meet him. Your son is well. Your son is well. Your joy is full. We will end this year on a high note. Doesn't matter what you see around you, it is irrelevant. It is what Jesus said that is relevant. And so we're going into a time of uh, um, thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Time of rejoicing. Amen. Walking in the shoes of the man who just received the news. Your son is all right, recovering, everything on point, everything on track. How will you dance? How would you rejoice? And then when you rejoice, I'll come back and I'll give a word of prayer and blessing in the name of Jesus. Levi, are you ready? Are we all going to rejoice? Are we ready? We're going to dance out and glorify our Father. Ushers, where is the basket? On the mountain, in the valley. Maybe you have not also noticed. This is our offering. This is our thanksgiving. This is our celebration. If you need an envelope, please collect an envelope. Otherwise, this is the time to um, do your email money transfer as well. This is one offering for all thanksgiving offering um, all offering at this time and then Levites and ushers please direct traffic I want to see people dancing I want to dancing like you received it dancing like you got the miracle
Amen. Amen. Jesus never fails. Make sure you're dancing Jesus as you're coming. Fails. Jesus never fails, fails. forevermore. Come yeah. and see you. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. See what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. It is marvelous in our sight. Come and see, oh, come and see. Come and see, come and see, come and see, come and see, come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. Everybody testify you are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody testifies you are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Oh, everybody, everybody testifies you are good. You are good, Jehovah. You are good. Everybody testifies you are good.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, go ahead. Just give that good shout of victory. Give God, give, give that good shout of victory, that good shout of joy. Lord, I know it shall be well. I know you have said it once. Have you spoken? Twice have I heard that all power belongs unto you. Lord, thank you. All power in heaven on earth beneath the earth they are yours oh god thank you lord for what you have started thank you for what you're doing thank you for what you will accomplish in the name of our lord jesus christ father thank you oh god lord for visitation thank you oh god for visitation thank you for visitation thank you lord for silencing every every wicked mouth every wicked devourer lord i give you praise just say some words of thanksgiving right now. Just begin to appreciate God. Honor Him. Adore Him. Father God, I honor you. I thank you for your word in my life. I thank you, oh God, Lord, for what you have said. I thank you for what you are doing. I thank you for what you will accomplish. Father, oh God, Lord, I'm not moved by what I see. I'm moved by your word. Thank you, Father, oh God, Lord, uh, because you said there shall be a performance uh, of that which has been spoken concerning me. There shall be a performance of that which has been spoken concerning your church. Uh, oh, there shall be a performance of that which has been spoken concerning the families uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, uh, there shall be a confirmation of that which has been spoken over our children uh, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. Uh, your future is secure in the own mighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus thank you heavenly father your joy will be full indeed your joy will be full everything you have trusted God for because you have danced because you have come before him rejoicing like that man who just received the good news about his son he had not even seen the son but he got the good news and so he started to rejoice he started to dance my god and my father lord your joy will be full in the name of jesus thank you eternal savior we'll bless your name forever and ever thank you glorious god blessed be your name oh god in jesus name we have worshipped and so heavenly father first and foremost we, we want to say thank you for the first half of this year thank you we also want to say father thank you for the first miracle <laughs> the first word thank you lord because we believed we came seeking that man came from far because he heard about jesus and we are here in his presence because we also heard about him. We wanted to meet him. We wanted to be with him where he is. And that's why we are here. That's why we are believers. That's why we gave our life. Hallelujah. That's why we, we were seeking until he found us. Father, thank you for finding us. Thank you for changing our lives. Thank you for washing us clean. Planting our feet on the path of righteousness. Thank you for separating us from the evil of the past. Oh, thank you for bringing us from the kingdom of darkness and translating us into the kingdom of your dear son. We give you all the glory. And Lord, we also want to thank you for the miracle of the second. Lord, you that started the first, you give us hope of a second. And because of the second, many more. Oh, Lord Jesus, that day before the end of this year, Lord, we will have many, many, many testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. But I want to prophesy that even this month, July, number seven, that blind man, he moved from seeing dimly until he saw clearly. He saw perfectly. This month, July, am I, I'm speaking to somebody. God will perfect everything that concerns you. In this month of perfection, in the name of Jesus Christ, your biggest breakthrough that you have ever experienced, I'm not even talking of this year, 
that you have ever experienced your biggest breakthrough your biggest breakthrough your biggest breakthrough let it locate you this July in the name of Jesus Christ things will turn around for the better for you you will testify Lord we bring our offering to you our tithes, our offering thanksgiving Lord we ask Lord that you please receive it from us said if I were hungry I wouldn't ask you we can't feed you we can't clothe you in fact when we give uh, it is for our selfish reasons so that you will have something to use to bless us in return Lord therefore as we've brought our gifts Lord please remember us for good multiply it and let men bring back to our bosom in the name of Jesus Christ let us encounter by reason of our gifts and our offerings let us encounter fresh miracles all around us fresh opportunities let us come into contact with lifting with promotion in the name of Jesus Christ so shall it be let this week be great for us Lord let every day of this month be by miracle everything that we have thought about prayed about imagined let them begin to fall into place lead us in the way to go let us never depart from you let the enemy not rejoice over us silence them completely lift our heads up lift our heads up thank you heavenly father this week i ask that god will go ahead of you wherever you will go he will go ahead of you he will direct your path he will lead you in the way to go he will teach you what to say he'll bring you into opportunities in the name of jesus christ so shall it be we honor you forever and ever lord as we go lord we go not out of your presence let the presence go with us show us your mercy and salvation by the time we meet on wednesday lord we ask and pray oh god lord that even the testimonies will have started teach us and reveal more of yourself to us thank you mighty father we give you all the praise and everyone going through a very 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 tough difficult moment lord i'm just asking for your healing balm physical healing emotional healing lord apply it unto their hearts apply it unto their minds thank you holy spirit of god we we'll bless you forever and ever we we'll return the glory to you oh god breakthroughs are ours shame to the devil in the name of jesus thank you father for in jesus name we have prayed let's sh- have you been blessed today have you really really been blessed today shout hallelujah the blessing will be permanent in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace in fellowship. One, two, three, go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever amen before we shout three power, no seven powerful hallelujahs for the month of perfection um hallelujah um i think mama you said the teenagers are meeting next week or oh, yeah next week yeah so teenagers uh, get ready we're going to meet and then um at the end of this month we're also going to have a time where the youth will still take over the service so get ready for that and you know begin to you know you guys are just going it's just going to be your day you know and you do if you want to dance you can dance if you want to choreography and all of that you know so get ready for all of that amen all the youth in the house shout hallelujah (laughs) wait (laughs) oh Did you hear me very well? (laughs) Amen. For those of you at home, I trust that you all had a good time today. And all the blessings here, they're all yours too. In the name of Jesus. And for all the celebrants this month, God bless you. 
and uh, uh, happy birthday in advance and you will receive all your blessings too in Jesus name all right seven powerful hallelujahs are you ready praise the Lord 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 two more to go please clear your truth <clears throat> Number six, praise the Lord. And the final and the loudest, praise the Lord. God bless you. The louder your hallelujah, the faster is your miracle. <laughs> Amen. Anywhere better day, carry me, they go. Carry me, they go. Oh, my Lord, carry me, they go. Anywhere better day, carry me, they go. Anywhere better day, carry me, they go. Oh, my Lord, carry me, they go. Hey, oh, my Lord, carry me, they go. Anywhere better day, carry me, they go. Anywhere better day, carry me, they go. Oh my Lord, hey, oh my Lord, carry me they go. Anywhere better they carry me they go. Anywhere better they carry me they go. Oh my Lord, carry me they go. Yeah, Baba, carry me they go. Anywhere better they carry me they go. Anywhere better they carry me they go. Oh my Lord, carry me they go. Oh my Lord, carry me they go. Anywhere better they carry me they go. Anywhere better they carry me they go. Oh my God, my praise. Go to my praise. My praise, my praise, no one's body, my praise, no death's body, my praise, my praise, my praise, my praise. downfall of satan glory be to god amen i have seen seen the victory of jesus glory be to god glory be to jesus i have seen seen the victory of jesus glory be to god amen i see satan has fallen i see satan has fallen I see Satan has fallen. I see Satan has fallen. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen, seen the victory of Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. I have a father who will never ever fail me. Jesus is my father. He will never ever fail me. Rock of ages, never ever. I have a father who will never ever fail me. I have a God who will never ever fail me. Jesus is my father. He will never ever fail me. Rock of ages, to where I am, mama. See I know me la is in Jesus to our I am mama. See I know me to our I am mama. See I know me la is 
I send Jesus to where I am, Mama. See, I know me. To where I am, Mama. Eh. To where I am, Mama. Eh. 